continue, whereas it is my understanding legal fiction is like a soul and cannot exert any control over those who are first blessed and operate with respect to that knowledge, whereas it is my understanding that I can use a recorder of a common law court of record or any authorised officer of a common law court to perform duties found under any act because they have the power to hold court and hear evidence and issue binding lawful judgment common law court being a superior court, whereas it is my understanding that a recorder or magistrate of a common law court of record or any authorised officer of a common law court of record can also be used to bring criminal charges to bear, to bear against traitors, even if they hold the highest office, whereas I claim the right to receive or be paid any pension I have paid into or am otherwise entitled to and claim that said right is not affected by anything I do even if I abandon my national insurance number. Whereas it is my understanding that a summons is merely an invitation to attend and the ones issued by any court creates no obligation or dishonor if ignored. Whereas it is my understanding police officers or peace officers who attempt to enforce statutes against the free man of the land, the flesh and blood man and blessed living soul serving God alone are in fact breaking the law, their behavior being legal but not lawful. Whereas it is my understanding that I have the power to refuse intercourse or interaction with police officers or peace officers who have not, obs who have not observed me breach the peace, cause violence against another being or animal or a person's property or make false claims or misrepresentations in my contract. Whereas it is my understanding that police officers may perform several functions or wear several hats at any one time under the guise of state security. Whereas if they are operating as enforcement officers, that is to say, if what they are asking me to do, to perform or obey, could or would result in a financial penalty, loss of time, a valuable commodity, also a monetary fine or withdrawal of a right or privilege or a title, then they are asking me to participate in the transaction of a securitized interest, which falls therefore under Uniform Commercial Code, UCC, Article 9, and therefore is a contract in law or admiralty law, ergo, no signed legal and binding contract, then no obligation to perform. This is the very bedrock of commercial global transactions. Whereas it is my understanding that permanent estoppel or permanent total estoppel by acquiescence bars any police officer or prosecutor from bringing charges against a free man of the land, a flesh and blood man and blessed living soul serving God alone under any act is created if this claim is not responded to in the stated fashion and in within the time stipulated. Whereas it is my understanding that the common law right to travel on the highways without license, taxation or hindrance, whether or not we are engaging in com commerce thereupon is lawful and still exists, although it does appear to have been deceptively hidden. Whereas it is my understanding that if the police are not providing a service, that they have no reason to stop anyone. Whereas it is my understanding that if I have the right to refuse to interact or cooperate with criminals, de facto government agents or grossly negligent police officers. Whereas it is my understanding that if I have the power to appoint directly or by proxy, I must have the power to fulfill those duties myself. Whereas it is my understanding that the law provides remedy at all times, even against rogue or negligent police officers and de facto governments, apparently hijacked by soulless corporate interests and entities. Whereas it is my understanding that the act of registering the birth of a baby creates a legal entity called a person that exists in association with that baby and that the manner in which offspring are registered transfers superior guardianship rights over that offspring to the government. Registration. Whereas it is my understanding that this creation of a person, or from the Greek personar, by sound, and transfer of authority is not duly disclosed to the parents, and if it was, all good parents would refuse to register their offspring, and whereas it is my understanding that the person and the human being to which it is associated are two very separate and different things, and that the people playing roles in government as actors only have the right to act upon the person. And whereas it is my understanding that if I do not wish, sorry, it is, whereas it is my understanding that if I do not exist in association with a person, I cannot be lawfully governed by the people playing these roles in government. 
and whereas it is my understanding that I, Peter of the family Smith, now known as Peter of England, have since birth registration been used as surety for the legal fiction name as shown on birth certificate, Alan Peter Michael Smith in block capitals, national insurance number WM 865758 Delta, whereas it is my understanding that I can and do now make chain take charge of my legal fiction, name as shown on birth certificate, and now act for the legal fiction, name as shown on birth certificate in capital letters, as a third party agent, being both settlor and beneficiary of said name's trust fund. Whereas it is my understanding that I am not obliged to obey the orders of anyone claiming to be acting on behalf of Queen, King, Government, Parliament, United Nations, NATO, etc., as no one who does makes claims that abandon and erode the concept of equality has any authority over me. Whereas it is my understanding that Jesus Christ in Matthew admonishes us to swear no oaths. Whereas it is my understanding that Clause 39, Magna Carta 1215, states no free man shall be arrested or imprisoned or disseized or outlawed or exiled in any way victimized neither will we attack him or send anyone to attack him except by the lawful judgment of his peers or by the law of the land in clause 40 to no one will we refuse or delay right or justice this is of the original magna carta document 1215 the laws are still in effect and that the expression law of the land shall mean common law, not statute law. Therefore, be it now known to any and all interested, concerned or affected parties that I, Peter of the family Smith, now known as Peter of England, from here on in, am to be known as Peter of England. I am a free man and do hereby serve notice and state clearly, specifically and unequivocally, my intent to peacefully and lawfully exist free of all statutory obligations, restrictions, and that I maintain all rights of law to trade, exchange or barter and exist without deceptive governments, and to so do so without limitations, restrictions or regulations, created by others without my consent. Furthermore, I claim that these actions are not outside my community standards and will in fact support said community in our desire for truth and maximum freedom. Furthermore, I claim the right to engage in these actions and further claim that all property held by me is held under a claim of right. Furthermore, I claim the right to lawfully exercise my common law right and my God-given right to travel freely unhindered and unencumbered. Furthermore, I claim the right to use the force necessary that I deem appropriate to protect my property, thus preventing any other person claiming the right to use force or violence in regard to my property. Furthermore, I claim the right to use the force that I deem appropriate to protect my physical body in all circumstances, thus preventing any, any other person claiming the right to use force or violence in regard to my physical body. Furthermore, I claim the right to refuse to supply an intimate or non-intimate sample of DNA and fingerprints or photographic image for any person, purpose sorry, without my written and notarized consent. Furthermore, I claim that the courts and their judges, having sworn oaths and oaths at that to the Crown and all it represents, and not the people of the United Kingdom, are de facto and bound by the law, and I further claim they require the consent of both parties prior to providing their services. Their services I herewith decline. Furthermore, I claim that anyone who interferes with my lawful activities after having been served notice of this claim and who fails to properly dispute or make lawful counterclaim cannot claim good faith or colour of right and that such transgressions will be dealt with in a properly convened court in full public view with payments of fines as dictated by my attached fee schedule. Furthermore, I claim all transactions of security interest per Uniform Commercial Code, Article 9, require the consent of both parties. Basic contract law with wet signatures as to all documents of state which require the monarch's signature and the great seal in council. This is evidence. Any action demand which requires me to perform or submit to a court or tribunal or to pay a fine or be presented with a ticket or anything which has the potential or threat to deprive me of money, wealth, time or property is a transaction of a securitized interest. Furthermore, I do not accede or agree to be judged or regulated by anyone not affirming an oath of office under common law which fails to state that said judge or appointee has an overriding responsibility to serve and protect the best interests of we, the people, or the people as such. 
and certainly I do not consent to adjudication by any person swearing an oath of office and an oath of allegiance to the monarch or a governor or any other official in preference to the people. And as rebuttal to the suggestion that the above oaths, or sorry, the oaths below in part include reference to the people, then it matters not one jot as to the second oath, as the first of anything affirmed always takes precedence over the second. See oaths below, and then are included the oath of allegiance, the judicial oath, the affirmation of allegiance, the affirmation judicial. And a statement here from uh, the judicial oath is not a common law oath. It says here quite categorically this is included in the document. Furthermore, I claim the right to respond with any order made by a court over or against my person, against my wishes, and without my express written and notarized consent will generate a bill that will be submitted to the court for immediate payment, as orders always generate bills. Furthermore, I claim the right to use a declaratory judgment or statutory declaration or warrant to secure payment of the aforementioned fee schedule or bill for order issued in court against any transgressors who by their actions or omissions harm me or my interests, directly or by proxy in any way, as well as my rights under Uniform Commercial Code UCC 1. Furthermore, I claim the right to convene a proper court de jure in order to address any potentially, crimin any potentially criminal actions of any police officers, government officials, principals or agents or justice system participants and or parasitic enforcement officers and corporate villains who, having been served notice of this claim, fail to dispute or discuss, discuss or make lawful counterclaim and then interfere by act or omission with the lawful exercise of properly claimed and established rights and freedoms. Furthermore, and finally, I claim the law of agent and principle applies and that service upon one is service upon both. Furthermore, I claim the right to deal with any counterclaims or disputes publicly and in an open forum using discussion and negotiation and to capture on videotape and audiotape as long as an end soul being is also present to verify the facts under common law, the said discussion and negotiation for whatever lawful, lawful purposes I see fit. Affected parties wishing to dispute the claims made herein or make their own counterclaims must respond appropriately within 30 days of service of notice of this action. Any and all responses must be under oath or attest attestation upon full commercial liability and penalty of perjury and received by a registered mail at the address herein provided no later than 30 days from the date of original service as dated by way of Royal Mail recorded delivery service receipt of which I have provided. Failure to register, register a dispute against the claims made herein will result in an automatic default judgment and permanent and total irrevocable estoppel by acquiescence barring the bringing of charges under any statute, act or regulation against myself, a free man of the land, Peter of England, of, for exercising these lawful and properly established rights, freedoms and duties. God bless you. Place of claim of right, address supplied. I hereby sign this document with the symbol I have adopted below to seal my present intention to authenticate this document. Fee schedule attached on the back. And also, just as a final uh, statement here, this is the letter This is the letter that was sent to the Attorney General and to Kenneth Clark, who was then the Lord High Chancellor at the Ministry of Justice. It reads, Right Honourable Kenneth Clark, Dear Mr. Clark, please in find enclose various documents entitled Sacrament, Affidavit 1, and Notice of Understanding of Claim of Right. This letter was sent on the 5th of June. Copies have been sent to Dominic Grieve at the Attorney General's office. I would ask you as a, inverted commas, servant of the people, close inverted commas, to please inform all relevant departments of my, inverted commas, newly declared, close inverted commas, status, as I'm sure that in the future various agencies of the Crown will be in contact with me over various issues. I should appreciate an acknowledgement of receipt of said documents from your office. Best wishes, and it's signed. I received no communication, no document back, and as a government 
department, it should have, I think, under a, uh, a duty of care, a responsibility to at least acknowledge receipt. Nothing was received, and so here we go. Thank you very much for your time.